Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh and this is Dave. Hi. And we've had three main questions that have been emailed to us a lot. Yes. Uh, first one is, will Dave's V-tail diabolical awesome bat bone design ever be in our store? Yes, very soon. Like now. And the second question is, how do you flip it? Yeah, uh, and that's uh, what we're gonna talk to you about now. It's really fast. All you do is increase the stick scaling on the board. Now what is stick scaling? It's how much influence the uh, stick is actually doing to the copter. Okay, so it'd almost be like dual rates, but at the board level. Yes. Very cool. Now, when, Let's you, show that. when you increase on your stick scaling, you're also gonna wanna increase what else? Expo, right? Yes, because your copter is gonna be much more twitchy. Twitchy. So to combat that, you usually add more Expo so you can still hover it nicely. So what are the normal stick scaling amounts for um, normal flight? Uh, around on this thing, I set it up for 50. Okay. And that's a good amount and 20% Expo. So when I'm gonna show that first. Okay. So let's take off. So this is when I move the stick all the way, bang it back and forth. That's it. And you can still flip, but boy, it's gonna be a lot more stressful, right? Yeah, it is. You have to be a lot <laughs> on the stick. Looks like a crazy monkey going through the air, <laughs> doesn't it? So, so you really got to be on your game with throttle and your stick movement. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. You actually back off the throttle almost completely. Almost completely, yeah. So you don't want to stop them, but yeah. it's... If you try to fly through a loop, you're going to fly into the ground. Yeah. So don't so, do it. So let's increase the stick scaling here. Okay, so that's 50%. Yep. Nice. And all you do is walk, go into the stick scaling menu and increase this. Let's go to maybe, do you want to go crazy? You're the pilot. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll just go to 100. That's not too crazy. Okay. So, so what you're telling them is to step it up slowly. Don't yeah. go for five, five uh, flips in one, one try yet. Yes, don't okay. do that. Get That's used to idea. it. So um, Now your expo. Yes, I'm going to increase my expo as well. So I'm gonna go to maybe, I had 20, I'll go up to 40. Now Stay. what about rudder? Uh, rudder I didn't increase because it's pretty powerful anyway. Okay, very so cool. So that, you only need it on the aileron and roll. Uh, aileron and, see it's, wow. I didn't even go full stick. So let's increase the height here a bit and then. Now that's pretty good. Uh, I went a little too much on the throttle, but. Yeah, you see, you can... Beautiful! So, twice the amount, two that's, flips in the same area. So that, that's 100? That's 100, yeah. W what's the highest stick skill you've flown before? Um, 250, but that's pretty crazy. That is, that is really crazy. So okay. let's do that. Now, now, what's the techniques and stuff? If someone wants to flip for the first time, just talk through the throttle moment real quick. Yeah, so when you're going up, mm -hmm. um, you still have throttle, gain some altitude, and then when you're upside down, you reduce it just like a normal helicopter. You okay. reduce the pitch. Do not go all the way down. Because all the blades stop then. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah. Go almost all the way down. Okay. Um, so roughly maybe quarter throttle. You get to the top and then you start powering it. Okay. So, because when you're upside down, you don't want it to just suck it down towards the ground. It's no. not going to do no, you only good. You only want enough power to actually drive it around into the orientation you want, right? Yes. Now there's a big thing. Don't do auto level, right? Yes, don't do... Don't do auto level at all when you're doing flips and stuff. It might work a little bit, but it's not gonna work in the long time, uh, long run, because uh, the sensor has a spec of a certain amount of rotation per second. If that's overridden, you're gonna crash because it doesn't remember where level is anymore. So don't do that. To put it in simple no. terms, yeah. No. Don't do it. If you're starting out, you can actually do a flip or a roll without reducing the throttle. Have a lot of elevation though. Keep it high in the air and just bang the stick. And you're gonna lose a lot of altitude, but that's that doesn't really matter as long as you get used to the copter in that orientation. Let me demonstrate it real quick. Yeah, sure. Take it out. So I'll keep the throttle at the same. And then just release the stick when you're at the correct position. I like that. What's it doing there? When you release the stick, it's gonna like stop really quick when you have the gains. It's just, it's gonna bobble back and forth because you're banging the stick so hard. Don't worry about it. It's just, it's pass, it passes pretty quickly. The roll actually looks a lot nicer, a lot neater. Uh, yeah, a roll usually 
since this is a V-tail quad, the roll actually doesn't lose as much altitude because it, nice. it's And I see when you bang way. the six, you actually kind of give a throttle so it's traveling up as you do it. Usually, yeah, I usually go up and then turn it nice. so you don't lose as much. Very nice. So start off with that and then learn how to work your throttle into it as well. Yeah, throttle management. And let's, now let's go crazy. Okay. Crazy is what, 150? No. 250? Yes. Let's try that. See, for a Swede saying crazy, that's pretty funny, you know? So 250, I would not recommend this to anyone. Okay. You just want to be responsible for the sake of it. It's fine. Okay. Just go in expo. Aileron and elevator, not just one. Yeah, not just one, both of them. I'm just gonna go 60 and hope for the best. I think you need 75. pretty good okay let's see what it's upside down all right I landed on it. our next episode we're gonna talk about fixing VTO quads <laughs> yeah I'll awesome. get that all Here. right you get that <laughs> well while he's getting that our final question was are we gonna have the rotor bones items back in stock and guys this is truly because of you we had such an outpouring of support um, through buying the rotor bones products we ran out of stock immediately uh, we had to replenish that stock, but we also really believe in quality too. Um, so because of that, we were really careful to make sure we have everything back in stock. So if you're waiting on the bat bone, the straights, the tilts, all those good things, also the V-tail and a new skid design. Doesn't actually look that bad. Hey, David! Yeah. How is it? I need a prop, otherwise it's good. All right, he needs a prop, otherwise it's good. You're gonna find more products for the rotor bones, including David's V-tail. You'll be able to see a build video with the rotor bones uh, pieces, also our new skids and the V-tail mounts, and David will walk you through the whole process. Until then, we'll see you next time.